One of my subscribers has asked me to make uh, breakfast completely in the microwave. She says she doesn't have a toaster oven and she hates to fire up the uh, the range and all of that to make breakfast and but she'd like to have something in the way of a hot breakfast and would I do that for her so you know who you are this is for you well I'm going to make a sausage egg and cheese breakfast this morning and uh, everything will be cooked in the microwave first thing you need to have is whatever you're going to cook it in has to be microwave safe. Now most cups are not microwave safe. Be sure to look on the bottom here and see if it says microwave safe or microwave uh, dishwasher safe or whatever. If it doesn't have that don't get it. Don't try to use it because it will get very hot it's because there's a metal in the glaze on them and it can cause it to glaze, glaze craze like crazy and uh, and besides it gets blazing hot and can hurt you and I don't know if it could ever spark in the microwave or not but this cup that I have here is uh, microwave safe and I'm going to go with that now the first thing is going to be the, the biscuit I'm going to make. So I'm going to use self-rising flour. Now if you don't have self-rising flour for each, and I'll use a quarter cup of it, and if you have to use just all-purpose flour, you would add a half a teaspoon of baking powder and a little less than a half teaspoon of salt to a quarter cup of regular flour. I have my quarter cup of, of self-rising flour here and my cup and I'm going to spray the inside of the cup with with oil to keep everything from sticking and dump in the, the flour a little sugar just about a half a teaspoon just to kill the harshness of the baking powder in that and to that you want to add an equal amount of milk so we need a quarter cup of milk And finally, about a good patty of butter. About like that. Room temperature is best. And you just start mixing this up. You want to mix it thoroughly and get rid of all the lumps. I'll finish mixing that off camera here. Okay, that's completely mixed in nice and smooth. So it goes in the microwave for a minute 30 seconds. That's on high and full cook and start. Okay, you see how it's grown to about double its size there? Let it rest for about a half a minute. And then turn it out. Into a a plate. It looks like it's stuck a little here, so... No, I, that's... The bottom of the cup was a little bit bigger than the top, and that that is a problem. There we come. And 
there is the biscuit, and it is blazing hot. So we'll set this aside to cool. And need to clean the cup out because the egg is next. I rinsed the cup out here to get rid of any the biscuit was left sticking in it. Dried it and I'll give it a shot of cooking spray. And the next thing is the egg. Now you want to break the yolk up and you stir it around a little. You don't have to beat it or anything like that, but you just want the the yolk beaten up because if you don't, that's the part that explodes. And just in case, I'll put a paper towel over the top of it in the microwave. And I'll go for 30 seconds to start with, and then I'll check it. Well, it's been in there 30 seconds, and it looks like it's cooked all the way through. It is. It's completely done all the way through. Let me run the knife around it. Oh, yeah, and it's loose in there. And we'll set it aside. Now, we need to put the sausage in the microwave for about 45 seconds to thaw it. It's a frozen sausage, but it's already completely cooked. Okay, I've split the biscuit here, and I'm going to put the split side down and a piece of cheese on top of it, the sausage on top of that, and the egg on top of that. Some salt and pepper on the egg. And now, I'm going to have to kind of reassemble this biscuit on here. Because it tore it up in the process. And there it is. And ready to go to the table and get me a cup of coffee and I've got breakfast there. Here it is on the table. My coffee cup with a good cup of coffee in it. And by the way, I have found something that's better than this particular cup here. You see it's bulged at the bottom slightly. And I found a ramekin that I think is a lot more suited for especially the biscuits because this one kind of tore it up and this is a ramekin I found and it's even slightly tapered so it'll make the biscuits and everything come out easier out of the microwave uh, they're available at most every place uh, and they're microwave safe and they make them in several sizes this is called a four inch now pick this up and have a bite of it and see what I think of it.
just like made in a frying pan, and only it's faster and done in a microwave. So here's to America. God bless Texas. Because where else would you find something like this other than the great state of Texas? Bye.